I do need to talk to you about euphemisms. It's relevant to my obsession with wordless novels. They're arguably the first real graphic novels, and I've been called the father of the graphic novel, but I'm here today demanding a blood test. <laughs> I always thought I was just making comics. Even my current museum retrospective is called comics. Actually, uh, comics, a comixing of words and pictures because I figured a misspelling and a mispronunciation was better than a misnomer. And that hyphen helps defamiliarize the word so you can see it fresh. I've spent my life trying to balance on a hyphen that links opposite tendencies together, like the invisible hyphen between the serious and the comic, between high art and low, time and space, words and pictures. I picture you on that hyphen, the rational left side of your brain, flooded by the dense barrage of language, while your intuitive right brain on the other side of the hyphen is repeatedly whacked by the flood of images and music that are at the heart of this program. And don't worry if you get a little lost while you're watching. I expect you to careen between my words and these pictures until you're left as breathlessly unbalanced as I am. Welcome to my world. <laughs> 